Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Anne, and today we're reacting to H and D Umbrella. Um, so I heard from new, of course. Uh, I heard that this is like their last comeback as H and D, and they're about to join a new boy group. Um, so firstly, I'm glad that that happened for them. I know that their company, uh, whatever their company name. I don't know, but like I know that their company is kind of struggle, especially during COVID time. So um, yeah, I'm glad that instead of like going bankrupt, they actually putting out new group. So go and support them because you know every support count. Uh, Hangul have you know struggled so much in the industry, and and I think he deserves all the support. And Dohyun as well. He's just you know, after the shit show that is the disbandment of X1, I think every X1 member deserves all the fucking love. Okay, let's get into this. Uh, I think this is more of like a vocal track. We'll see. Let's see. Yeah, the set is simple. They might just singing like kind of live or like they look fine though. I mean, I am personally very attracted to Han Yu and his husky boy. Wait, what is this filter? I love the live feeling, like this is like a band, very acoustic. Did it, did it boy get lower? I know he's growing. So it feels like his voice might be breaking right now, but like his voice sounds so good right now. Maybe the mic, I don't know. Oh, 
드라마 확인하지 못한 네 맘. Oh, can I get away? 언젠가는 그쳐 갈 테니. Oh, oh. 이 감정들 마저 전부 말라가겠지. 넌왜또 저주했을까? 오케이, okay, bitches. That was extremely, extremely good. I cannot. I don't know. It's it. I I don't understand the song, but with the sound, perfect fucking song to listen to in the fucking rain in a coffee shop or like in the library. I don't know what the song's about, but oh, the mood, man, the mood. Mm, their vocal is so clear. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's a mic or was that like Dohyun voice start to break, but like, oh, mm, mm. and just, just get tangled out here. I cannot with him. I cannot. I cannot. Do you, s I don't know if you see, but. I watched like his um, there was like a, um, the video, of him doing um, probably like a CF for some 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 brand, and he was like just, just being cute and, half naked, and I'm just like how dare you? How can you be both cute and half naked, with that body at the same time? I just cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Um, I love Hangul boys. Uh, I, like compared. I feel like I don't know is because this song is actually in the range for his voice, but like in in produce X one hundred one, he struggled a lot with vocal. But here, I don't know. Maybe the song is just written right to fit his kind of soulful, deeper, sadder, more mature voice. Um, absolutely love love this song. This song goes straight to my playlist. I know that it's. I I feel like it's not that popular. Yeah, who um it came out. I guess it came out today, but yeah, it's not even having a one hundred thousand at the point of recording. So someone not doing their job. <laughs> um, this song is fucking great. I'm hope. I really hope this do well on digital. I really hope because like this is the perfect song to play is in like coffee shop, any place that need to have like a moody kind of vibe. It's like compared to other K-pop, this will I feel like would be a song that people listen to doing other stuff. Um, I don't know. I feel like they deserve like I um. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm biased, but to me, this song is great. Great, great. All right. If you like this uh, video, leave a like down below. Want to see more of me? Consider subscribing and thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.